We're gonna also, definitely just threw my phone. Hey guys, what's up, it's Liz, and today we are gonna be talking about my top songs of 2018 on my Spotify account. So basically my most listened to songs that I listened to this past year. It's very interesting. It's very spot on. I went to the spotifywrapped.com website where you can find out like all this information of like who you listen to the most and whatever. Um, my top songs, artists, and like genres don't really make sense and I don't know what happened. So like, I think Spotify is playing me at this point. But with my playlist, it's like spot on, like, Okay, it's doing something right at least, like thank God. So we are gonna get into that today and it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. I look like a marshmallow, but like I'm kind of cold. Your girl does not care. I'm gonna bring it up on my computer. My computer's right here, obviously. I'm just gonna pick different songs and I'll have my Spotify playlist linked down below in case you want to follow it, which I mean, it's a pretty good playlist if I do say so myself. <laughs> But yeah, so let's just get into that, shall we? So to start off, my most listened to band, I feel like, was the band Camino and This Wildlife. I have seven the band Camino songs. I'm very confused on why they weren't my top artists of 2018. I understand why Taylor Swift was, but like a few of the artists on there, I haven't listened to like for half of the year and I'm just, I'm very confused. I think this whole thing is rigged and I don't appreciate it. I want to know my actual results, so. What are you doing? Because there have been days where I've just listened to the band Camino and cried just nonstop. So like, what are you really doing, Spotify? I don't appreciate it. Playlist is very spot on. I've listened to all of this. So like the band Camino songs, I've obviously listened to like Fool of Myself, California. My Thoughts on You, definitely one of my favorites. Know Me, 214, so Valentine's Day, What I Want, Who Says We're Through. All great songs from the band Camino if you haven't listened to them already. I've mentioned them on my channel before. Obviously, you should go check them out because they're an incredible band. I, I feel like a lot of people don't listen to them and I don't know why. And then I have a few bearing songs. Actually, I have two bearing songs. I have Eyes Closed in Beautiful Places, my favorites off of Blue in the Dark, their album that they just released a few weeks ago, I believe. It's absolutely incredible. Those are like amazing songs. Songs that I definitely think you guys should check out. Basically anything on this list are songs that I feel like you guys would like if you are into the same kind of music that I am. I have Ariana Grande. I have like God is a Woman, Breathe In, and No Tears Left to Cry. All great songs. They're all off of Sweetener. That record is incredible too. Probably one of my favorites of 2018 and I will have that video up probably the 31st. So it'll be the last video of 2018 that you guys will see from me. One song from Beartooth because I do listen to it whenever I go to the gym. It's aggressive and I think that's off of their aggressive album, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna also, definitely just threw my phone. I'm gonna go and screen record on my phone too, so I can just do this as well, because I feel like that would be also a good idea. And if you don't know how to figure out your top songs of 2018, I will show you right here. You just go to search, no, just kidding. Go to home, go to home, and it should say like at the top, and if not, you can always go to made for you over here, and then if you go down, it says even more, and then it'll have your top songs of 2018. Taste Breakers, I tried this. I know I'm not gonna like any of these songs. They have country music in here, and I'm just like, Spotify, you know me. Trust me, you know me. I don't listen to country music, so what are you doing? So definitely not gonna check that out, but you definitely want to go to your top songs of 2018. Very nice, very exciting. So it's the songs you loved most this year all wrapped up into one playlist, which is so nice that they do this for everyone, or that uses this subscription service. I think it's incredibly smart. It's also very good for like promoting because everyone wants to know so obviously they're gonna like see everyone posting about this and it's gonna make people think wow why didn't I use Spotify this year I'm gonna use it next year and see what my songs are from like the last year. I have my top 2016 songs and 2017 songs I'm sure they're extremely different. I still have Ariana Grande on here from 2016. I've ever Levine. <laughs> oh I had a lot of data remember in 2016. That's insane. Oh Oh my god, I basically had John Bellion's entire album in 2016 because I listened to that nonstop. Um, I had some Panic at the Disco, I had a lot of Paramore, a few Paris songs, um, The Somerset. I think that was the year they broke? No, they broke up the next year. I had some Transit. Definitely, it was a good mixture of songs, I feel like. I also have like Amy Winehouse on there because I love Valerie. Good song. And then 2017, I feel like, what did I listen to in 2017? <laughs> in 
2017, it's very like all over the place. 2017, I listened to a lot of Beach Weather along with 2016. I had a lot of A Day to Remember Again, <laughs> Don Broco. I had a, oh my God, last year I had a lot of Knuckle Puck in the main. I guess I was just really feeling some sort of way last year. I had a lot of Paramore. I had a lot of Sleep On It too. Um, I had a lot of State Champs. That's insane. I love looking back at these because I think it's just so fun to kind of like see what you listen to in past years, which I obviously like love the fact that, again, like I said, that Spotify does this. It's very smart. But yeah, let's go into my top songs thing. And I would love to know what you guys listen to most of this year. I always am very interested in like seeing what my friends listen to or like my subscribers. There is a friends activity thing on Spotify if you are actually on a desktop computer and it shows you like what your friends are listening to at that time or like an hour before. It's really funny. I always see, um, Caitlin, why are you listening to Victorious? I always see like my friends listening to really funny songs and I always like send them like screenshots of it. It's great. And then Caitlin's over there like, hell yeah, I'm listening to this song. So I love that. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of um, different songs this year. Eyes Closed, great song. Proper Dose, great song. Um, of course I had Africa by Toto on my playlist because I listened to that way too much this year. I regret nothing. It's a great song. I request that song at every party I go to because it has to play. It's just an iconic song that, that needs to be played at every party. It's okay. <laughs> I have Panic at the Disco songs from like the new album, um, John Bellion's new songs. <laughs> I have songs from The Greatest Showman because I was obsessed with one of them. Demi Lovato, Sleep On It's new song, Disconnected. The Greatest Showman again. I have real friends on there, which is so surprising to see. It's Wildlife, In Her Own Words, The Band Camino, Grayscale obviously because I love them. Um, also I have Phoebe Bridgers on here, which is really funny because I just found her a few months ago and I didn't realize I listened to her that much. So. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I have Seasons of Love from Rent. <laughs> So that's great. But yeah, I'll definitely leave a link to mine down below just so you guys can check out my playlist. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this. I've been listening to a lot of different artists. I haven't really listened to a lot of pop punk this year. Like I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really listen to State Champs all that much this year. It's kind of weird for me to say that, <laughs> but I feel like 2018 was a good year for music. It was definitely an interesting year to say the least. Overall, I feel like music this year was actually pretty decent and I appreciated that. I thought after 2017, 17, nothing could really come out this year, but I was wrong. I'm very excited to see what 2019 brings because who didn't release an album this year? Knuckle Puck didn't release one. From Indian Lakes didn't release one. Who else did it? The Main will release their new one next year. I'm guessing Sleep On It will too because they're recording in January. I don't know if anything from Paramore will come out. It'd be really cool if they did, but like I feel like I want them to take a break because After Laughter was so big for them that I feel like they just need it. But yeah, I feel like 2018 was a good year for music. Oh, Grayscale should be releasing a new album next year. I haven't heard anything, but I'm just assuming because their album came out at the beginning of last year. So, Grayscale, I'm looking out for you. You need to do something. I'm watching you, don't worry. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give a thumbs up and comments down below. Tell me your thoughts on the video and what you'd like to see next. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I put videos out one to two times a week. And you can follow me on any of my social media sites at Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat at Sebastian. It's the same way spelled on every single account. I hope you guys have a great day today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.